Hello! This is Wednesday Night Hub, October 2013, Level 3, Week 2. I'm Jill. I'm Medallia. And this is our Musicality Month. Yeah, so we had a blast with you guys playing with a lot of different concepts in the music. Today we explored micro musicality and we had a whole lot of uh, really fun exercises for you to do and play with. Um, one thing that we, we worked on was uh, doing call and response with our partner. So we played songs, have them do something, maybe it inspired you, maybe you felt the song in a different way. <laughs> Ha, and then you, they did something to the music, yeah, uh, which was really cool and fun to do um, because a lot of the times uh, leads have the responsibility to, you know, choreograph and lay out the dance. But as followers, we can have input too, right? And sometimes things that we do can inspire our leads to do something and jo join in on the fun with us, yeah? Yeah, and then we made you uh, play uh, with the song by, by yourself, doing like solo jazz moves and finding, you know, what you can do with the rhythms in the song, receive, listening to the song and what the instruments are doing and what you can play with and then because we wanted you to like explore this by yourself so that when you get to dance with a partner, then you can use that mm -hmm. when you feel like you have the space or the time to do it. Exactly. Um, um, what else did we talk about? And then that there was one more thing. What was that? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was mostly stuff that we had you guys do. So it was, um, remember like all these jazz moves that like you can do by yourself, right? Then you can do it with a partner. Huh? But you have to be able to do these things first. So I highly recommend like exploring solo movement because ultimately that's what's gonna help you be able to be a very musical dancer versus maybe just doing swing outs you, or, or Charleston, right? You can put in bits and pieces of all these amazing movements that there is out there to hit certain parts of the songs. Yeah, oh, and we had you listen to a couple songs and then sing the melody of the song, which is like super important, right? Mm -hmm. You before you can really be aware of what the music okay, is doing, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, be yeah. able to like remember it, right? Mm -hmm. This can help you anticipate what's coming up, but it also helps you figure out, you know, how wh how the song is like put together, right? Yes. You can see like the different sequence repeating themselves, and then inside each sequence, you can see oh, this part is more mellow, this part is more, you know, vibrant. There's more ac an accent here and and all that, so. If you can by yourself, take you know a few songs and then like sing them out in the shower maybe or something. Don't don't put the don't put your iPod in the shower. Put it on the side. Smart. And listen to in the Smart shower. Smart guy here. Sing yes. With it. All right. Uh, and then one last thing that I I like to always mention is guys, don't feel like you have to throw moves and moves and moves at us. Just enjoy the dance. Sometimes the same melody repeats or the same. It's like the first eight counts, second eight counts, the same. It's okay to do that same movement. Like I personally really enjoy it when it's like you do something and and if it fits the music and we do it again because the sa same riff happens twice. Do it twice and just enjoy it versus trying to think about what you're gonna and do next just enjoy the music live the moment don't think so much ahead of what's gonna happen next yeah uh, and that's all we'll see you guys next week um, it'll be another really fun class so Thank you.